Steve Jones here, oyster farmer from Hooks River in New South Wales and Chair of Oysters Australia Research and Development Committee. Through Oysters Australia, growers now have a greater chance to influence and direct how money is spent in research in oyster industry. Generally, growers want to see projects that invest more, you know, to, that enable prediction of poor growing conditions, reduce losses, improve growth rates when disease isn't the primary factor. And also growers wanted to continue focus on breeding better oysters along with shellfish safety, related market access and market development. Oyster Australia has allocated growers R&D funds for the following projects that are run for the next two to three years and due to start in 2015. First one, a biosensor project for both Sydney Rock and Pacific oysters, which aims to measure oyster stress in real time with the potential for growers to reduce losses. The second one, resolving the last gaps in the ponds proofing Pacific oysters, which aims to provide an integrated disease con control strategy based on use of genetically resistant oysters when they become available and husbandry methods through the hatchery juvenile grow market production cycle. Safe fish is another one which is a service for oysters, mussels, abalone and rock lobster that deals with seafood safety, emergency response and trade and market access. The fourth one is continuation of the national R&D coordination and communication effort. Oysters Australia will also input on how to put a project like the New South Wales Sustainable Oyster Assessment Program into the hands of Australian oyster growers using a phone app concept from the South Australian oyster farmers. Growers across South Australia, Tasmania and New South Wales want to be able to keep track of mortality and growth rates alongside environmental conditions and husbandry methods. Also, Oysters Australia has put aside some funds for troubleshooting hatchery production issues of native flat oysters which are a diversification strategy for South Australian and Tasmanian Pacific oyster farmers. The Pacific and the Sydney Rock Oyster Breeding Program continue to breed for disease resistance and other key issues using existing funding. The oyster retail experiment is in the final stages of testing. The potential to commercialise point of sale material amongst national seafood retailers. The bottom line for us as oyster farmers is that research funding allocation benefits both Sydney Rock oyster farmers and Pacific, rock, uh, Pacific oyster farmers according to their sector value. Oyster Australia looks forward to talking to growers about results of the projects and any new ideas that evolve. Can I wish you all a Merry Christmas and safe holidays to yourself and your families. Thank you.